Dear student, we shall learn about the measurement in daily life. Measurement in daily life. In everyday life, measurement are of a necessary. For instance, the amount of cloth required for a dress, the weight of grocery, and the vegetables to be bought, the amount of sugar needed for a cup of tea, or the amount of petrol to fill in a car are all measured. To make accurate measurements in all such cases, so we make use of a standard unit. Now let us learn about the standard unit. Now a standard unit is a definite and convenient measure so that it remains the same whenever, by whoever and wherever it is used. It is a definite and convenient measure so that it remains the same whenever, by whoever and wherever it is used. Now, here we have SI units. In 1960, the General Conference of Weights and Measures recommended that a common system called the International System of Units or SI units system should be used all over the world. So what actually General Conference of Weights and Measures recommended in the year 1960? They recommended that common system called SI unit should be used all over the world. So it is a common system used all over the world. Now in SI system the standard units and their symbols are as follows. So measurement of length M is the symbol that is meter is the basic unit of length here measurement of mass Kilogram is the basic unit of mass. Kg is the symbol. Time. Measure time. Second is the unit. Standard unit. S. Small s is the symbol. Temperature. Kelvin is the unit of measurement of temperature. Capital K is the symbol for the temperature. This system is uniformly used for scientific work all over the world but every measurements different units and systems are still in use for example the commonly used unit of temperature is degree celsius so no doubt k is the unit of temperature but degree celsius is the commonly used temperature unit. In our country, the National Physical Laboratory at New Delhi maintains the standard unit, which is that National Physical Laboratory. Now let us focus on measurement of uh, length. So length refers to the distance between any two points or places. It includes the height, the breadth, depth, thickness, radius, circumference, perimeter and distance. The SI unit of length is meter. Small letter M is the symbol for the measurement of a length that is meter. The commonly used multiples and submultiples of meters are as given below. Why should we have the multiples and submultiples of meter? For example, to find the height of a wall, we require a unit, a meter. Maybe it is 2 meter or 3 meter. And if you want to know the distance between any two cities, we make use of kilometer. Or the distance between 
any two areas within the city so we can use the decameter or distance between any two cities we can use hectometer now we want to know the length of a small objects like a ant we have to make use of a millimeter and if you want to know the length of a matchstick you have to make use of this unit centimeter depending on the size that is the length so we are making use of multiples and sub multiples look at this here micrometer so when we think of a virus so we use the unit micrometer you not be virus or any minute organisms or minute things we make use of micrometer or micron let us know about the commonly used multiples and sub multiples of meter so 1 km kilo stands for 100 so 1 km is 1000 meter you can write exponentially as 10 to the power of 3 meter 1 hectometer hectom is 100 hm small h small m hm that is the symbol so 100 meter or 10 to the power of 2 meter 1 decameter decam is 10 so 10 to the power of 1 meter then 1 deci meter so when meter is divided into 10 parts so each part is called as a decimeter so 10 to the power of minus 1 1 cm 100th of a meter that is when meter is divided into 100 part each part is known as a centimeter so we can write 10 to the power of minus 2 meter then 1 mm that is when 1 meter is divided into 1000 parts each part is known as a millimeter each part is known as millimeter so we write 10 to the power of minus 3 meter 1 micrometer so 1 meter is divided into 1 followed by 6 zeros that is 1 million parts so each part is known as micrometer 10 to the power of minus 6 so we can write in decimal form 0.10.1 .1 meter this is 0.01 meter this is 0. 001 meter so here also we can write 0.123456 so 0.000001 meter so these are the multiples and these are all the sub multiples of the meters so we have to remember this so therefore from this we can know 1 meter is equal to 100 cm so 10 mm is equal to 1 cm remember 1 meter is equal to 100 cm 10 mm is equal to 1 cm 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm so therefore 1 meter is equal to 1 billion micrometer 1 billion micro meter or this is a one so we can say a micron we call this entire unit as a, a micron so micron means 10 to the power of minus 6 meter so a uh, student you have learned the multiples and sub multiples of meters so these are very important in science as well as mathematics for application and calculation purpose